The 22 News Eye team has been looking into the past of Freddie Gias, the man who is reportedly a suspect in the murder of infamous mobster Whitey Bulger. 22 News Eye team reporter Tamara Sikarzik takes us into the past of the convicted hitman. I'm not surprised in the slightest that a man could be murdered in prison. Notorious mobster James Whitey Bulger was found dead earlier this week at a prison in West Virginia. The Justice Department is investigating his death as a homicide, and according to the Boston Globe, a convicted mafia hitman who once lived in West Springfield is a prime suspect. 51-year-old Freddie Giaz is serving a life sentence in West Virginia in connection with the murder of Springfield mob boss Al Bruno. The I-team has learned he's well known to law enforcement and prosecutors here in Western Massachusetts. I can understand uh, if those accounts are true, uh, while there are why there is press reports that he would be a suspect. Let me just leave it at that. The I team went back years into our archives here at 22 News to take a closer look at Giaz's past. This mugshot was taken over a decade ago after he was charged with murder and racketeering five years after Al Bruno's death. The federal indictment said Giaz had paid a hitman $10,000 to murder Bruno on behalf of the Springfield crew of the Genovese crime family from New York. Three years later, he was convicted in New York, and in September of 2011, he was sentenced to life in prison. Springfield attorney Dan Kelly has represented Giaz in court. He is in there for murder, so I wasn't completely surprised that he would be alleged to be involved in another murder, but I, I don't have any um, particular firsthand knowledge that he was involved. David Hoos, another one of Giaz's attorneys, told NBC News that Freddie, quote, did not like or respect anyone who was a rat. You may remember that Bulger had worked with the FBI for years while running the streets of Boston as a mob boss. I was a news intern in Boston back in 2013 and sat in the courtroom during Bulger's murder trial when he swore at his former associate, Kevin Weeks, after he called him a rat during testimony. The Justice Department hasn't released any additional information on the investigation into Bulger's death. I'm Tamara Sikarzik working for you with the 22 News I team.